At the moment, the cape just drops. So we're just going to go to our nucleus. If we drop some of these, we're not interested in any of these. We're just going to look at this gravity and wind tab. So if I click select, just so it deselects this and just selects the nucleus, click interactive playback. Now our cape drops, but now we can start playing around with these elements here. So wind speed, we want to add a bit of wind into the scene. So let's turn that up. As you can see, that's now blowing. And this is the wind direction. So this is going across one in X. So maybe we want it to go the opposite way. So because we've got interactive playback on, I can set that to minus one and it updates automatically. We maybe want it to go back slightly as well. So we've got X, Y and Z. So maybe we want it to blow upwards a touch. So let's maybe set that to two. As you can see, that updates for us. And Z, again, let's set that to minus one. And there we can see the cape has started to lap behind her. And what we can do is we can always just rewind and restart the playback. Now we've got those settings. And there we have the cape just blowing gently behind her. We can add a bit of noise into that. Maybe set that to five instead. As you can see, that's starting to billow nicely. We can increase the wind speed to make that faster. We can also increase the air density, which is just going to make that a lot more ferocious, as you can see. So there we're starting to make the cape look a lot more interesting. Now, we still have a few problems. The cape's bending in on itself, but we haven't actually gone in and changed any of the settings for the properties of the cape itself. All we've done is edited the nucleus, which is effectively ed uh, affecting the scene rather than just the cape.